Scott, you want to talk a little bit about mm-hmm. life insurance for this young couple? Yeah, married with two children especially, and obviously uh, quite a bit of income coming into the household too. You need to be able to protect that income. So what happens if one spouse does not come home one day and that income has to be replaced? How are you going to provide uh, a certain level of lifestyle for the surviving spouse and for the children and still provide for all of those needs, the retirement, the, the uh, higher education, if that's a, a priority for you. Life insurance certainly needs to be in place. I hope Charlie um, and his wife have some. You know, I've shared this story before, but my first wife, Nicole, um, passed away from brain cancer in 2020. And I'll, I'll tell you, if I was not a believer in life insurance prior mm-hmm. to that, I certainly am now. And we had actually, she had gone back to work. So she was a stay-at-home mom for the most part. She worked part-time a little bit as a soccer coach, but she was a stay-at-home mom and I was the breadwinner. And we had a little bit of coverage on her, but not much. But when she decided to re-enter the workforce uh, as a teacher, we decided to get a policy for her. And we took out a term policy and we took that policy out and she was underwritten for it. And it went into force a mere month and a half before she had a seizure and we found out that she had brain cancer. So you talk about God's timing on that, first of all. But I found out the importance uh, in a very personal way of term life insurance. And I would tell you that I I even erred on the front end of that because even when Nicole was not working, there was a need for her to possibly have life insurance as well. Yeah, I I refer to to that stage of life when there there is many times a stay at home parent. Often uh, often it is the wife in my household. Ironically, it's the husband. I know it's not traditional, but for health reasons, that's what has has worked out for us. But um, I call that stage of life uh, the life insurance. It's it's Mary Poppins money because mm-hmm. if if your spouse who has been staying home with the children, and I say staying home loosely because he takes them to all of the doctor's appointments mm-hmm. before they could drive, he was taking them to and from school all of those things so if something happened to him i would have to hire mary poppins Mm -hmm. that that's the deal and so even somebody who is not bringing income into the home they are providing dare i say a service to the family that you would have to pay somebody else to do if you're going to maintain your other you know priorities in life like being at work when you're at work and not having to leave to go pick up the kids and that type of thing so there's a lot to consider in the life insurance question and with Mm -hmm. with this couple being in their 30s um, when we talk about discover protect and share financial independence the life insurance aspect this is protecting financial independence because it is definitely a threat if something were to happen to one of you Thank you, Charlie, for the question. If you have questions, you can call or text them to us at this number, 501-381-5228. Call and leave a voicemail with your question, or you can text it to that number and hear your question answered on the air. You can also send an email to show at getreadyforthefuture.com. 